Hey y'all, it's me. Um, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I've been kind of busy. Um, had minor surgery today on my tooth. I don't know if you guys remember a while back I was rambling about how they had to take my tooth out. So I'm getting an implant, so they um, had to drill. It sounds a lot more painful than it actually was. I didn't really actually feel anything, but they had to drill a rod into my jaw. So I had that done today. So my mouth, you know, this side of my face is a little numb. Um, it was a little swollen earlier, but it's it's gone down pretty well. Um, but yeah, that's not even why I'm doing this video. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is, hold on, let me get it. Blood app. This right here that Janice sent the ladies of the growth oath. Um, she mentioned in her last video that she was going to be sending us all um, some eucalyptus oils which we were to apply to our scalp directly to help with growth. So I got mine in the mail. Thank you Janice and the ladies of our Arjuni. Um, and she asked us three questions and she wanted us to respond back to her and the questions via video. So this is basically why I'm making this video. Um, the first question was, what do you do every morning? Um, there's a couple of things that I do every morning. Um, I wake up, duh. <laughs> um, I brush my teeth is a must, and I shower. And I do my hair. And I, I do makeup, some type of makeup. So, and then, what do you do every evening? And something that I do every evening, I wash my teeth, <laughs> wash my teeth, I wash my face, and I brush my teeth, and um, I go to bed. So <laughs> those are kind of synchronous with each other. So the reason why she asked us those two questions is she um, said that we need to put our mixture um, somewhere where we'll be able to remember to use it every morning and every night. And... Um, I think that what I will do is I'm going to keep it in my bathroom on the sink because, duh, I brush my teeth every morning and every evening and I wash my face. That's like a double one. I don't even know what this is on my... Don't mind the stain, y'all. I don't know where that came from. Um, it's like a double whammy. You know, not only do I brush my teeth, I wash my face. It's going to be right there. Bam. I'm going to remember it. So, yeah, that's all. Um, yeah. Oh, and I know this doesn't really have anything to do with the growth oath, but it has something to do with, like, weave in general or people who wear hair. I don't know if you guys... I've been seeing a couple of videos out there, and, yeah, I've had people, like, they go on your, like... Huh, let me breathe. Um, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people ask me about my hair like it's fine if you ask me like you know if they say hey girl I like your hair girl your hair looks nice girl I'll be like thank you girl <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'll be like if I want to tell you like it ain't mine you know just joking but if I'm just walking out and about in the street <laughs> like let me give you an example why I'm bringing this up today when I was on my way to work in the morning and I'm getting on the bus, and I notice this woman is staring at me. She's just stone cold grilling me. And people sometimes stare. I mean, I feel like a lot of times when you're someone who likes to do makeup, you know, you like to beat your face up before you leave the house, people stare because either they're admiring your makeup or they're wondering where you're going that you're wearing makeup. But little do they know that you just like to wear makeup for the hell of it because it's fun and you like it. So, someone was looking at me, and I'm just like, okay, whatever, she's looking at me whatever um and then she comes up to me and she she thinks she's whispering but she's mad loud and she goes girl is that attached or sewn in and i was kind of taken aback and i was like attached to sewn in uh what what did you say and she said is it attached or sewn in mad serious and i looked at her and i was like you know for you to have the audacity to ask someone that you don't know whether her hair is attached or sewn in. Like, for all you know, this could be my real hair because I think it looks pretty natural. You know what I'm saying? And I looked at her and I was like, this is my real hair. And she kind of gave me one of these side eyes. And I kind of gave her one of those side eyes back. And I was like, mm-hmm. 
say something. What can you say? And God, I went on my merry way. But it's just like, you know, etiquette. <laughs> you don't ask people that. Like, you could just say, I like your hair. What's wrong with saying I like your hair? Why I gotta be fake? Why I gotta be fake? I've also had people go on my, like, they see pictures of me. Somebody was, I watched a video of a, a, a guru talking about this this morning, and she's saying people go on your Facebook and be like, girl, you look so good in this picture. What type of hair is that? And I'd be like, damn, you trying to put me on blast in front of everybody. I mean, it's not like I care, like, you know what I'm saying? My motto, when it comes to weave, my motto is, if it looks good on you, whether it's your real hair or not your real hair, I don't care as long as it looks good. As long as it looks good. You know what I mean? Obviously, I know my hair doesn't go down to my butt crack, but if it looks good, I'm going to be like, girl, you look good. But, I mean, if you like the picture, if you if you want to know what type of hair I'm wearing, inbox me. Don't write it on the picture. Like, you know, not everybody's hip to the skip. You feel me? Um, but it's all right. But, yeah, I digress. <laughs> Um, thank you Janice for this eucalyptus oil I will do it justice trust um, yeah if you checking in bye